So the adventure begins. For the next three months or so, I'm going to be all over the States and in Australia. Please come see me. I can't wait for you all to hear my new songs. Hey, it's Cody. Some of you might not know who I am yet, but I'm from Australia and about eight months ago my producer Sean Campbell discovered me seeing you on YouTube. I got to fly to the States with my dad and record a few songs just to see how it went. It was awesome being in the studio for the first time and I learnt that it was definitely for me. We only recorded a few songs because we only had two weeks to do so. After we went home I put a song on MySpace, suddenly it went crazy. Right now my dream is feeling like a nightmare. I'm in Atlanta rehearsing for my first concert and Sean Campbell just woke me up in the middle of the night and told me to get ready. They're taking me to this surprise concert. I have to perform in front of heaps of people who I don't know. Wow, I'm nervous. This is scary because I don't feel ready. We're going to the car now and my hands are shaking. You're performing in front of a room of your peers. But does it really matter? My fans. Does it matter who you're performing in front of? No, but it like, doesn't matter at all. My fans are. <laughs> I, I, these people may not know you from Adam. They may not know you at all. What are you doing? This is what you were born to do, Cody Simpson. But right? Yeah. And we don't have a lot of time. We gotta make you a star now. You gotta own this. You gotta know it's all yours. You gotta know that you own the stage and that you own everything. We gotta get rid of all the fear. All the fear that's there. It's time to confront it. You she gonna tell me I'm performing in front of? I'm this is crazy. I'm thinking about all of my training. Okay, think Cody. Breathing, timing, dancing, sequencing. Moving around the stage a lot, cool. I got it. Sean is right. This is what I was born to do. Since it is, I'm gonna do my best. That's all I can do. That's all. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Not this game, Bob. Sorry, get first. Wait, wait, come on out this way. Come over here. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Take your time. Now you're going to take it. Take your time. 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 From the moment I stepped on stage, I knew this was it. Everything I've ever learned came back to me. I didn't have to think. It was awesome and the crowd showed me a lot of love. If this is what the tour is going to be like, then I can't wait. The record label saw footage of the show and decided it was time to start promoting the album. This means that over the next few months, I'm going to be all over the place. Hopefully I'll be in your hometown. If you are, please come see me. Can't wait to see you there. Hey, Cody. Man. Today we're in Phoenix, Arizona, and I gotta we're going out to radio station, meeting a few fans, performing a few songs and stuff. And then we're actually uh, where we going next? We're on VIP meet and greet, uh, performing, performing a few songs, doing some sound check, and then we have my a day, my life. Cereal. It is pretty much a very busy day today. Is it really morning or am I just tripping? Why do we have so much cereal? Cereal addict, I swear. Beep, 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 in Phoenix, Arizona, about to go out and uh, meet like 30 or 40 fans, go back for sound check, do another radio station thing. We well, yeah, this is the day. But here we got these cool, uh, these cool badges. Um, right now, kind of sweet. It's funny, like I'm from Australia, but it it all started here. I'd never really thought of the music industry as a worldwide thing. I thought of it as like, you know, it's an American. I'm in Australia. I can't do it. But then the internet really just connected everyone and we posted this video of me performing at a school talent show and I started getting all these hits so I started posting more videos. I posted about three or four and it just took off I guess. Hey this is Cody Simpson and you're with Aaron Taylor on KISS FM. Oh, you got a little accent on you. Are you yes. from like New York, right? No? I'm from Australia. Oh, Australia. Yeah. I, I, thought I, was, I thought I knew something. Right now I think I'd be doing what I was doing before I moved here. 
I was just going to a regular school. I was I wasn't doing anything different than what a, what a normal um, teenage boy would be doing. Yeah, kiss in Phoenix, and I got like all these. Uh, they actually, uh, I'm not gonna lie, they actually know some of my favorite stuff. They got the turtle right here, we got sour patch and everything. Um, we had some fans give us some peanut butter too. Wow, this is crazy. This is just from like 10 people, so this is kind of cool. People lined up all around the block. I just think that's really, really, really cool. This is the moment where all the magic happens. <laughs> He's got it down, yeah. So we, um, every night I actually, uh, I choose a girl to come on stage with me. And, um, so I actually, I have a big fan right here. They had the I Love Cody t shirts on. Oh, and I just want to ask you if you'd like to be. Yeah. Yes. 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 I love this. Definitely. Definitely living the dream. Very grateful. Advice I have for young boys and girls to definitely um, start taking every opportunity that you can. Like school talent shows are great. Like local local things, local opportunities to do gigs and sing and everything. It's never usually like I didn't plan for any of this to happen. I had never I'd never thought of that I'd be doing this like 12 months ago. So I guess I guess just let it happen by yourself. Just believe in yourself and work hard. Have fun. Guys, we are done for the day. Yeah, I'm headed back like, to like, California. Back to where we began. She was finished. See you all soon. The first thing I can tell you about Cody is that in many ways he's a regular kid. He's always making everyone laugh. You once was a little monster. His name was Cody Simpson. <laughs> Try and tell them to like your dog. We have to um, chill on the Twitter macking. Like you can't use Twitter as your personal. Get it yeah, like you can't use Twitter as your personal dating site, dude. Right, right. Like, what are you doing? It's a public. It's a public <laughs> site. You know what? Like yo, what the heck are you doing? Okay, right. Can Angie sing? Oh, all right. We do a song with Brad now. <laughs> all right. That's hot. That's it's how we call it. It's a family affair, right? Yeah, like a father, a conversation between a father and a son. Yeah, like, clean your room, boy. <laughs> So, before I was telling you that Cody was a normal kid, and he is, he's a normal kid who can pick out guitar chords by ear. He's incredible. I've worked with a lot of people, but no one like him. Atlantic Records put him in the studio for a week. They came by and were stunned to learn that he had written 12 smashes. No one really knows what to think or how to respond to him. I, I didn't teach him. He's always been like that. From the very minute he first recorded at my studio in D.C., he's been a pro. All of the world's best producers have been in to see Cody and they always come out amazed. They ask me how he knows these things and I don't really have an answer. I guess that some people just have that gift. The funny thing is that he doesn't seem to really know it. Since I'm introducing you to all the characters of the story, there's no more of a character than Little Eddie. Little Eddie's one of Cody Simpson's favorite songwriters, Homeboy's amazing. He's also a lot of fun to record with. I've never been to a Little Eddie session without laughing my ass off. He sometimes works solo, but today he's come with two other really talented writers, Deanna, Bamba Chica, and Chris Ivory. It's hard to get anything done, they make us laugh so hard. Did you say uh, United States of America, Alicia? Liqua, that's my name. Liqua. Your congratulations, <laughs> Eddie gave us ghetto names. Oh, really? Yeah. He got a friend named Munchie. Oh, <laughs> he got a friend named Munchie. That's Kelly's it. <laughs> you wouldn't eat a crumb around the scene. Kelly's it. Kelly's it. Kelly's it.
but I hate the way you act Cause I always have to steal my kisses from you And I always have to steal my kisses from you And I always have to steal my kisses from you Everybody can send me fan mail at PO Box 1816 in Studio City, Los Angeles, area code 91614. Love to get mail from you guys. But sweet, she's so fun, she can't be beat. She got everything that I desire. Set so much sun on fire. Goes down. 